Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today I have a product that is not sponsored. This product I purchased on my own and I wanted to share it with you. So this is a great little room heater. If you have a room that's colder and you just wanna warm it up, you're just feeling a little cold and you need a little extra heat. Now this item was on sale. I do believe it was regular about 40 some bucks and I got it for about 20 bucks. This was at Home Hardware, I believe. If I could find this online, I will share it with you. Your prices may be different depending on where you live or if it's on sale. So today we're gonna unbox it, check it out. I'll show you how it runs, how hot it gets, and I'll teach you a little bit about it. Even though it's a little simple heater, it's still good to kind of know about these heaters. So this little heater is small. <laughs> it has a two heat setting, which goes from 750 to 150 watts. It does have a thermal cutoff, so that means if it does uh, get at a temperature that's, you know, like if you don't want it really hot and you set it to a certain temperature, it will shut off uh, when it gets to that temperature. It does have a compact design, meaning it is small, and the tip over switch, I'll show you right away, it's on the bottom of the machine, so if it happens to tip over, it will shut off. Power in indicator light as well, which is kind of nice to have. So let's go ahead and unbox it. This did come with a year warranty um, with it, which is nice. So this is just uh, telling us to plug it directly into the wall. So into there and to not use a surge protector um, or put it on a timer. Yeah, so there's do's and don'ts with this little heater. Let me get it out of the box. So now that I have it out of the box, I took it out of the bag. You can see that the coils inside, they wrap around the back and there's a fan in front. So it sucks the air in from the back, the coils get heated up, and it blows the air out the front. So you want to put it in a location where there's nothing that's going to be sucked towards to uh, suck into the fan. Um, you do want to also make sure that all of the stickers and stuff is off the unit, um, just, just so it doesn't melt on. And, when the unit is running, this is just a caution sticker saying that there's a risk of electrical shock. So you don't want to open this up. We'll get into that a little bit more as well. So there's two stickers. I'm going to peel them both off. And this one's just talking about the high temperature of the heater. Keep electrical cords, draperies, and other furnishings at least three feet away from the front of the heater and away from the sides and rear as well. So kind of common sense with any kind of heater. You want to keep it away from things clear and on a probably a firmer surface. So on the bottom of this machine, there is this shut off button. And what that does is, so if the machine's running and it happens to tip over, it will shut off, which is really nice to have. So I'm gonna unwind this cord. We're gonna plug it in, try it out, and I'll show you a little bit more. So it also does have the little wording on top saying, do not cover, of course, because you could risk having a fire. So the nice thing is they do provide quite a long cord. So that's nice. And again, remember to plug it direct into the wall, not into a power bar. So once you have it set up, here is your turn on switch. So right now it's on off. It does just have a cooling fan. This is the first heat level. So this is level one and this is level two for airflow. And then this is how hot you want the machine. So it goes anywhere from 750 to all the way to 1,500. If you hear noise in the background, that's just my cat playing, just FYI. And here is the indicator light that the machine is on. So let's turn it on. So right now it is just blowing cold air as it's just like a normal fan. So I'm going to show you when I tip it, it's going to turn off because that button popped out. So if I set it back down, it'll turn back on. It's just a safety thing. If it happens to topple over, it will shut off. 
And the second, okay, so this is gonna be the starting of the heat. This is level one. And then this is level two. So this will just blow more heat. So. Now when you first turn on this machine, it says to leave it run for about two hours straight. What this does is it burns off any of the chemicals in the machine while it was being produced. They also ask you to put it on to the highest temperature as well. So once it reaches that temperature, it will shut off. Um, so again, you can have it on any temperature that you like. If you don't want it to be that hot in the room, you can just turn it down. And once it reaches that temperature, it will automatically shut off. Once the room cools off again, though, it will automatically turn back on to keep that steady heat in your room. So the coils in the back are heating up and I do feel quite a bit of warmth. So because I'm gonna be leaving it run for a couple hours, I'm gonna put a little temperature gauge in front of it and we can watch it go up so you can tell how hot it actually gets. So right now, this is how hot our, or how warm it is inside of the house. So you'll see as this starts heating up, it will change and you can tell, I'm just gonna get the stand up here. So I'm just gonna leave it here and as the temperature starts to heat up, we'll see it moving. What? We're doing your product review. Say hi guys. My name is Milo. If you want to check out my channel, I have my own channel called Milo's World. It's linked below. A big jump there. So this temperature gauge will continue to change. I'll update you guys in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to leave it run for two hours. We'll come back and I will finish the review. So of course it comes with instructions. Make sure to fully read all the instructions before you do end up using this heater fan. So just a couple quick things that you probably should already know. Make sure to use this in a safe area, not close to um, any water. Definitely don't plug it into a power bar as it could overheat. Keep away from children. Keep away from pillows, bedding, paper, clothing, curtains. Now this little machine it will get a bit warm so they do say when you want to move it if it is running just grab the handle on top and you can easily move it without getting burned they do have this little these little tabs in the back to kind of guard the area uh, in the back just in case there is something close to it this is a pretty good little heater if you're just looking to warm up for a little bit you don't want to really want to leave this unattended um, or even leaving it on while you sleep. I definitely wouldn't do that. Also make sure to unplug it when it's not in use, just in case. And when running this unit for the first two hours, make sure it's in a ventilated room. This way the smell of the chemicals and stuff that is burning off is kind of cleaned out of the, uh, in the room, or it can, you know, just get the smell of the room. After this process, you shouldn't have a smell anymore. If you find that the electrical cord is getting hot, that could be a risk of uh, a chance that it is overheating or it could lead to fire. So I have never had that kind of issue before, um, but just FYI, just in case, I would stop using it, just in case. So this is the classic heater fan if you're interested in purchasing it. If I can find a link, I'll leave it linked below for you. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just turn this down And as you can tell, it has shut off because it's hit a certain temperature. So once that temperature cools off in the room, it should automatically start back up. And if you want it to start running again or turn up the temperature, it will come back on. So it's been a couple of hours with it running. I'm gonna shut it off now. Um, so this is what the temperature gauge is at at this time, just kind of sitting in front of the fan. So it's been a pretty good fan. The sides are a little warm to the touch. I mean, it's not going to burn you or anything. The top is cooler to handle, so if you have to move it around, you can. It's cool. 
and the front of it is a little warmer but it's not bad and then the back is actually pretty cool because the air is being sucked in from the back and pushed out forward so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up let me know if that lets me know if you enjoyed this video and if you're looking to purchase it if i find a link i'll leave it down below for you and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet make sure to subscribe for all new videos and thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye guys i guess i gotta turn it off <laughs> then just to turn it off you just Turn it off, unplug it, and let it cool, and you can store it away. And if you're wondering, it looks like the blade inside is actually made out of metal and not plastic. This is probably because when it all heats up, it's going to get quite warm inside. So that's kind of nice to know if uh, you're curious. The fan is... Um, metal, but this outside is all plastic.